Okay, so I would actually like to start out talking about B stars with that scene between Lewis and um, Ibuki that we left off with last week. It was the end of mm-hmm. last week's episode. Um, I was a little bit we, well. We hypothesized uh, hypothesized about what the gunshot was going to be, and indeed, it was Ibuki getting shot. And I was a little confused watching the scene. I really felt like the the one thing I hate is forced drama. Um, just stuff to happen, just just to have it happen, just to have a reaction. And that w- my first thought was like that that that's the only reason why he died, um, mm. because basically it was free that that shot him to keep him. He was holding his promise to keep Ibuki from eating Lewis. And I was like, why is he even eating Lewis? Like, or devouring him? Like, is Lewis like what is Lewis's intentions? Is he leaving forever? Is he just going to help this one night? Like, I just really wasn't sure what was going on with the nuance of that conversation. I don't know if you felt that way, but it was pretty important to me to really understand where they were all coming from there oh yep mm-hmm. and apparently in the manga it was explained a little bit more clearly um i talked to a, a manga reader and apparently it was very <laughs> clear that lewis's intentions were to leave the shishigumi permanently yep. and in terms of ibuki it was supposed to be not the same as but like kind of relatable to how riz devoured tem where he was right. just like so overcome with emotion that he like couldn't quite handle that mm-hmm. and combined with like lewis's intentions to leave it was just like too much for him free had been following so he shot him and mm-hmm. i i was okay with that i thought that all made sense um and then of course lewis shows up to uh the fight between lagoshi and riz and Pina's still alive, so what do you have to say about that, Koo? You scared me unnecessarily I mean, for a whole week. I, I, <laughs> I <guess>. was terrified. Because <laughs> what's really stopping you, right? There was so much foreshadowing that, you know, Pina accepted his death, right? So if you're going to try something, go ahead. And like I said, he was trying to be all sneaking about it, but he was he was horrible. He got caught. The The evidence was destroyed. And I, I don't see what the point of would be to not eat the guy when you've already done it before. And especially if the the meat is what gives carnivores their strength. And you're about to go in this crazy fight against Lugosi, right? Why wouldn't you just eat the guy and then just get it over with? Like, that part I don't really get, but... Yeah, I, I was thinking about it, and whatever. I think the only thing I could come up with was that he was already one devouring deep, and he's been able to get away with that so far. I mean, mm-hmm. why, why raise the stakes? I mean, I mm-hmm. guess it's pretty much what I was thinking he might have thought. But I right. don't really understand what was the point of like covering himself with his blood. Oh, it was to kind of trick Lugosi, basically. But why? Just to fight harder, to piss him off? Like why? Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of agree with you that it was just like a little bit extra, and it sounded like that was everything that with Pina in that scene was done a little bit differently from the manga. So I don't know the details, but. Okay. I'm just happy he's alive, even if it was kind of like a little awkwardly played out. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I don't know what parts you were unhappy with. Do you want me to get straight into the logistics of the fight? Or do you have things you want to uh, say? So basically, I felt like everything about this episode was forced, especially with an ending. Oh. Like nothing really made s- Like if you really think about it, I guess it might have made sense. But I felt like. They just like shot straight to it. They didn't really give much backstory to any of the decisions that were made. Uh, the fight that occurred, I thought that was kind of stupid too, where Lagosti all of a sudden was getting beat down and he was like, Oh, you don't understand or value life. And then he had these like butterflies or moths fly out and like he was able to like do like a ninja move where he disappeared from the ground, came out of the air and did like a drop kick on Riz. Like I thought that was super weird and that didn't even do anything. And the very it's just i felt like everything was a rush and like none of it actually made sense like i thought the ending was going to be completely different the fact that the interaction between lagosi and lewis uh you know that lagosi just ate lewis's leg so he can get the strength to beat riz but even then it wasn't really enough it was more of the fact that their bond was what overwhelmed riz like to me that doesn't really make sense the only thing that I really liked about this episode was the fact that um, with the interaction that Lagosi and Lewis had, it kind of gave you a good picture of what a B-star is, right? A B-star is someone who can kind of understand and be the connection between herbivores and carnivores. And Lewis and Lagosi is definitely the B-stars uh, like of this era or whatever. 
Uh, so that was the only thing that I really liked, that symbolism. But otherwise, I think everything else about this episode and the finale was really weak. It was really disappointing. But hmm. I understand all of your points. I really can't understand where you're coming from. With the fight, I kind of felt like I wasn't really sure if they were going to go more with with like just a straight up like sh- sh- shonen type of fight or something closer to that, or if it was going to be something more like like what we got. And I thought that what we got was was fine. I just kind of felt like it lasted a little bit too long. I felt like they kind of repeated each other, like repeated themselves a couple times. It felt like they'd start fighting and then pause to chat, chat for a little bit, fight, pause and chat, fight, pause and chat. And I was just like, okay, okay, okay. I would have liked to have focused more on like exactly what happened with Riz at the like after the fight ended like what was his what did his sentencing consist of I would have loved to have seen like the drama club's reaction to finding out that news like that's the kind of stuff I was more anticipating looking into because I don't really think that like the strength of beast stars is in stuff like fighting um although I will say this I felt like some of the animation was really amazing but um I just don't really think good yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I just don't really think that it's their strong suit. So I can't say that I was like, it wasn't like when I'm going into Jujutsu Kaisen, like, all right, what kind of high octane like animation are we going to get this week with this fight? I just don't, I, I know it's not going to be that. So that was fine for me. I just wanted more at the end, I think, and less of that talking, especially because like, I don't really care. <sighs> like, Legoshi is a better person than I am. Like, I don't give a shit what Liz <laughs> has to say or think or do. Mm-hmm. Like, he's, right. he, he. <laughs> He, he's he's a bad guy. <laughs> like, he needs to be put away, period. And I understand that, like, he was lonely. I understand that he was misunderstood. I understand some things about him. But, like, if there's, a, like, a line of, like, what you can accept from people, like, he's crossed the line. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. so, you know, I, just, just a little bit, yeah. But I liked the fact that then, yeah, it came back to Lewis and Legoshi. I feel like that friendship is something that's really important to the story overall. And I feel mm-hmm. like th- that trust between them is just, it just felt good. Like, it just felt really good to have right. that at the end. And I thought it was freaking hilarious <laughs> when Lewis told him to wipe the blood off of his muzzle because he looked like a serial killer <laughs> when he was just yeah. trying to smile and be nice. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like, that's what this show is good at, right? The mm-hmm. the show, the writing, like, the humor, mm-hmm. like, that's what it has going for itself. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, the fight scenes are pretty cool, and like you mentioned earlier, uh, the animation was really nice, especially mm-hmm. for, like, what this is, a CGI. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's not what it's known for. And then the fact mm-hmm. that you kind of just botched the ending, I'm assuming there's a season three, because this isn't the end of Beastars, right? I mean, there's not an announcement, but I really think there's going to be a third season. Right. So I feel like this is just a stepping stone for Legosi to kind of evolve and, you know, become an adult wolf or whatever they call it in their world. But mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it was just it was just really disappointing because other than that symbolism, like I said, uh, none of it really made sense. You know, if if you weren't planning to either kill Riz or turn him in, right, you're going to implement your own justice on him. Uh, why did you even need to do this fight or what? Yeah. There was there was two of you. Why did you have to eat Lewis's leg to get the power to kind of like put him under control? You know, like a lot of it didn't really make sense. And I felt like the ending just made me want more because now that uh, Lagosi has a record, he's quitting school. Apparently, like him and Haru are still like close with each other, but you know they're still just kind of flirting and joking around. So mm-hmm. you don't really know what's going to happen. But it just leaves you wondering like what's going to happen next. So. For sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really I'm really curious to see where they go with this. Um, uh, What is it? The I have it written down somewhere, but like the devouring thing that he's got on his record now. Um, I was kind of upset about that because I was like, man, this is a load of bull. Like if the, he should be in trouble for anything, it should be just like fighting when mm-hmm. you're not supposed to be fighting somebody to like the death or even to like extreme like, you know injury that's right. like against the law so yeah you should you, you know you should get arrested for that but like lewis literally asked him to eat his leg and he stopped r- right exactly where lewis had asked him to leave off like i just feel like that wasn't warranted to have on his on his, on his um record and mm-hmm. it sounds like this gets treated in this world like um kind of like a sex sex offender kind of record and that just seems yeah. really extreme for legoshi but i don't know yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know what the rulings there are about like eating other animals, especially when they're still alive. But yeah, that that stuff doesn't really make sense, you know. Like, I, I don't get it, man. Just, just make well, it simple, you know. Like, why I, is it? Why are they making the plot so convoluted now? That's. I don't, I don't think they're it. trying to make it convoluted. I think they're try- setting us up for something that's going to be a little bit more political next season. I think that's what. I think that that's 
the reason that he got that sentencing, um, the fact how he deals with it, um, mm -hmm. how like his social circle and and whatnot around him responds to it. I think all of that is going to come into play. I don't know that everybody's going to look at it and be like, oh, yeah, that was fair. I think there's going to be discussion about it. I don't know for sure. But that's where I suspect, because where else do you really go with it from there, from where we're at, you know? True, true. But I mean, he's dropped out of school, so that angle's gone. Yeah, but I mean, hopefully there's a season three, because like I still yeah. like the show. I just hope that season three can kind of help salvage the finale of season two. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we'll go from there. But yeah. yeah, I mean, that's I mean, like I said, I, I just love that, like, like the relationship between Lewis and Lugosi. I think it's amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. I would not let any of you guys eat my leg to gain powers. So, you know, like true well, girl I mean, moment there. But to uh, be honest, dude, though, I mean, it kind of made sense because <laughs> Lewis thought of it as like his curse, right? Like it right. was like something dragging him down that haunted him his whole life. So I don't really think he even saw it as like giving something up. Well, it kind of does because what was the whole point of this season? It was for Lugosi to power up through like vegan, or I guess you can't even call it that because he ate a bug. Uh, like, like through the power of like being a vegetarian or whatever, not eating meats, he was supposed to gain enough strength uh, to justify like his beliefs are correct. Like it's the one true way that carnivores can uh, live in existence with herbivores, right? But then by letting him eat Lewis at the very end, it kind of makes all the training that he did with uh, Gohei uh, kind of pointless, right? So it to me it made it seem like the whole middle or even the beginning of season two was kind of pointless because all that work just went in the trash the only way he could have actually stood up to riz was by eating meat so so what now like what what was the point mm. i think the point was more because like what he said i think he said it during the fight to riz which is that because they're carnivores they're mm. supposed to use their strength to protect their or herbivores right right and i think the whole i felt like the whole point of him resisting meat was more so that he would never like be overcome by the urge to have to have it especially like from uh season one when they ended up in the black market it's been mm -hmm. a while since i've watched it but i think i remember him becoming pretty like bloodthirsty kind of towards some yep. of the meat there at some point yeah yeah right and so i think it was to overcome some of those urges so he would that wouldn't happen again or something like what happened with haru season one wouldn't happen again right. um and then additionally i think that like in terms of he needed that to fight Riz, I think that that is where that comes into play. He, If it was anybody else, he could have devoured Lewis there. He could have gone into that bloodlust and devoured him. But him True. and Lewis had learned to understand each other. They mm -hmm. built up this friendship for two seasons. And I think the point is to show that herbivores and carnivores can do that rather mm -hmm. than anything with him not being able to fight Riz without eating meat. But no, I, like, that's yeah, just I my like interpretation. That. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't know. It's, there's a lot in this show. Like, there's a lot that you could like. Get into. Yeah, you could nitpick at a lot of things, right? Just like, <laughs> but I mean, like I said, it's still a great show. Mm. Uh, you know, season finale was kind of like lackluster on my end, but uh, hopefully they have a season three, and then it kind of makes up for all this or brings it all together. So, um, but yeah, no, that, that's that's all I really had. Mm. Uh, yeah. So Great final analysis, that. Koo didn't love the ending, but he really loved the season. I love the season and the ending. So overall, we yeah. would recommend it. <laughs> it was like a 9 out of 10 until episode 12, and then it kind of dropped down to like an 8 or 7.5. But yeah, no, it's definitely worth the watch for sure. And then like I said, if you've watched, if you read the manga, hopefully you can kind of give us more insight about what really happened there at the end here. But I'm really hoping for a season 3 and uh, yeah go cool from there so all right all right we're in it there for b stars